Referee is Mr. Mark Oda. I am fascinated to see how this one is gonna play out. As you said, would be very surprised if Rodriguez hangs around on the feet and doesn't try and shoot for a takedown. Mm. Yeah, and sooner than later if you're Rodriguez and you watch for those front kicks up the middle. It's... Or the knees on the way in. That's the other thing. Sure, you want to get on Myrtle's hips as quickly as possible, but not at the expense of eating a knee on the way nope. in. Nope, and the hips are low. He's ready for everything. Patient. Look at the way Myrtle moves. Yeah. Look at his footwork, just able to cut it off. He knows Hiram's going to attack a thigh, try to corral one of his legs. Uppercuts and knees maybe on the way in. Yeah, it just seems like he's walking him down at the minute, just patient, living that uh, predator nickname. Mm -hmm. Man, I found myself hypnotized by him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. the way he's locked in, I got myself like, Yeah, damn. I feel it. Laser, laser, laser focus. His feet are not, like, the mat is not responding to you see Myrtle just slipping just a tiny bit so he hasn't yeah. quite got the feet where he wants him yet but he's going wherever he wants him and uh, corralling shoehorning this kid up mm. into the cage Rodriguez moving awkwardly also you know changing sometimes to southpaw to orthodox yeah, not a bad idea no Myrtle's just downloading that like you say beautifully Myrtle's, I think, waiting for the kid to shoot. I say kid, he's, he's a 40-year-old man with, mm. with 40 fights. Mm -hmm. uh, he's mm -hmm. waiting for him, hear him to shoot, to yeah. maybe hit him with the right uppercut or the knee. Yeah, I think he's really composing himself and going in for a hard counter, yeah. Good for here. He's landed a, a couple of kicks on the leg. I'd like he's to see in. some output now from Myrtle Jones, yeah. just to, you know, maybe set some traps. I have made this mistake of not coming in, you know? Yeah. But uh, I hope Myrtle doesn't make that. And I don't think, think he yeah. will. He's just downloading. It's too yeah. early to see. Yeah. That yeah, makes, makes sense. With a change of opponent so soon, he just doesn't want to rush in. Doesn't 100%. want to get caught with something unexpected. He didn't get any tape from him. He doesn't know what his skill set is. So, yes. He tests an up jab against Hiram. Okay. That right, uh, Myrtle's left hand being a little bit low it mm. actually makes it harder to see when he throws the up jab or yeah. when he whips his knuckles out. It's it's below the peripheral. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, how do you call that angle? Like you have in the truck, the blind. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, the blind spot. Yeah, the blind spot, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, nice change of legs and then coming from the back. So Hiram's hands are down now. Yeah, I think Hiram is getting tired from just yeah. from the focus, yes. the intensity, you know. You're a hundred percent correct. It drains him. You know, two hours ago he wasn't planning on fighting. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I would love to know what he was doing two and a half hours ago. Yeah, he was on the phone <laughs> with Donovan. Myrtle's starting to, you know, pace it up a little oh. bit. Two hard kicks. To the arms, intentionally to the arms, getting you feeling like you're holding pads, mm. but it hurts. And then that arm will start to drop. And you can easily see the respect Rodriguez has. He's not trying to overcommit. He's not trying to rush in and get knocked out. Mm -hmm. I think Myrtle actually very, this is the wily veteran kind of thing. Oh, yeah. oh that's a nice left Hiram's, hook. Hiram's angry Amazing. now, yep. which is cool. Yeah, he's coming to fight. I, I was gonna say that Myrtle was actually slowing it down uh -huh. to make the make Hiram feel comfortable enough to slug with him. Uh -huh. You know? Whoa. 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 Nice how he followed yeah. that up to the liver. Yeah. Another two of those will drop. When you were saying that um, Myrtle's movement hypnotizes you, imagine mm. being in there with him. Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do. Oh, oh really a big one coming in. He sort of switches the stand on the way and puts the left hand back and uppercut. Yeah, Rodriguez is feeling himself, you know, bitten. Like every strike is so hard. Yeah. You, you hear the connection. Like, yeah. Oh. 
And they're coming from weird angles. Yep. Death from above and attack from below. Yeah, or a sneaky switch of legs, and then the, suddenly yeah. the punch comes from the back leg. That's right. So now Rodriguez just trying to hold on to Merck a little bit here. Ah, very That's nice right. trip. Unleash the beast. A so, very cagey first round there, gentlemen. Yep. Yes, yes. But if you're here, I mean, you'll be a bit, depending where you've been and what you've been doing, you might be fatigued even after those five. And, and you pointed it out, that sort of the focused intensity actually yep. tires you, burns sugars, it's burning calories, and, and it fatigues you. Um, but yeah, Myrtle, very smart, didn't take too many risks. Opened up a little at the end, knowing full veteran knowledge that, that all you got to do is get a good minute in when you put a slow four minutes and the judges will give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course, he made sure he won the round. But then again, he had, in the back of his head, it's like, I got another 10 minutes. Yeah. You see that, that little check hook and then yeah. coming up with the right hand kick. At that time, yeah. switched his feet. Beautiful. And then, yeah, really nice. So much skill. And then that, Beautiful. you would call that wrestling or judo, but really that's that's something you learn in Muay Thai. There's the turning. I think he learned you know. that fighting his brother for, for yeah. the remote, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 100%, that's a, that's a Thai move. Yeah. But hey, credit to this man. You asked if he came in here to win. He had some moments there where he bit down on his mouthpiece yep. and just angrily threw some punches. He, he, he said yes to win. Yeah, he yep. wanted to go. Yeah. And then Myrtle was smart enough, even though he obviously will win uh, Slugfest, yep. but he was smart enough to just move out, you know? Yep. Don't make stupid mistakes. And those first few minutes, Myrtle making, allowing Hiram to feel comfortable, mm. sometimes you think that's a bad thing, but actually it's a good thing when you're fighting a guy. If he gets too comfortable, you knock him out. Yep. The yep. Shot yep. on the leg now, what can Rodriguez do with this? Yep. Good stuff from Rodriguez. Now he's gonna step around, yep. Myrtle defended that. Very nice. Yep. Trying to sneak out the back. But, Myrtle uh, either wants to lift Rodriguez's head yeah. all the way up or all the way to the mat. Yeah. The only way out right now is through the right side for Myrtle. Yep. And that's where he goes. Yep. Oh, and and Rodriguez comes in and he's going to be on the back, the back standing. And staying with it. Good for him. Yeah, this is what he needs to do. He needs to make this into a dog fight. Just yeah. really push Myrtle into uncomfortable areas. Don't try and kickbox with him. Yeah. No. Smart of Rodrigo's to, to, oh, yes. to, to start that in the second round because yeah. Yeah, Myrtle yeah. was just focusing on the understanding yeah. uh, yep. part. But he's defending very well. Yeah, Myrtle's doing doing well with all of this. Yeah, look but, how he took yes. the back, man. Yeah. Watch for a kick here from Myrtle. I think it's, a big knee to the buttocks. Yeah. Yeah. You can actually get there. Oh, you can get oh. that shin all the way around. Yeah. Ooh, that's exactly what he does. Yeah. Yeah. They're framing. See, Myrtle was already fighting in the times before mm -hmm. the Glory and K1 rules, so he has a lot of knees in his in his arsenal. Look at that, look at that clinch knee. Yeah, now watch the shin to the head or the knee to the head, yep. Yeah. Whoa, oh, and oh. a hot, very hard elbow. Shucks him off it and now he's on top. Now we get to see he's some on top, ready to do some Myrtle. damage. Corners asking for elbows. Yep. And Myrtle's, uh, Myrtle's uh, yeah. taking his position first. The full mount's there. It doesn't look like Rodriguez is really going to stop it. Yeah, yeah. There he goes. There he goes. And he doesn't need the foot all the way through. You can use your shin to keep that position if you want. He takes his time. It's just very good. He, he, do, he doesn't want to do damage at first. He just want to make his position strong. Like also taking some breaths yes, he before is. unleashing. Yeah. Because Myrtle could fight a thousand kickboxing rounds, but fighting in this way, mm. you know, with a little less experience, you mm. use a lot more energy. Yeah. He's there got are Rodriguez's people mouth bloody. Around us mm. with phones filming from every angle. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a legend fighting here. And a very brave, courageous, gutsy man on the bottom that stepped up to fight him. And I think Rodriguez managed to oh, move to half guard elbows. as well with those elbows coming in, Lord above. Myrtle looking up his corner to get some coaching. And then One minute, down. 55 seconds in this round. And he fights back to guard, and he's climbing. Oh. Yeah. 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 Myrtle will, can pass and punch, but he can also just back up. Yeah, he's not going gotta, to gotta stay in his guard. No, he's just going to stand up, stand him up, and go there. And Goddard stands two fighters up. And he did that because Myrtle was 
threatening physically, but not actually tactically. Oh, oh. oh. hard shots from the inside. Boom, oh, jumping switch knee. He's doing a lot of damage now with everything yes. he does. He knows exactly what he's doing. Rodriguez is now. a hard guy, man. Yes, he he doesn't give up easily. He's he can tired. easily lay down on one of these punches or knees, you know? Yep. And nobody would, you know, no charge him for it. He's still spinning and still attacking. <laughs> he's trying. But Myrtle is going to start picking him apart right now. Myrtle is way too high level for this guy. Yeah, man. yeah. we got to be honest. Yeah. And when you got him tired... Yeah, hands start to drop. Yeah. The openings yeah. are up there. Oh, Myrtle's yes. tired too, though. You know, he's worked hard through this round. Not. A lot more wrestling than Ooh. he's accustomed to. Front kick. Another yeah, high knee. swinging knee. I think he's Turning just getting it. warm, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Look at this guy. This guy's still, still pushing for it. This is a fight, no matter how this finishes, that Rodriguez should be proud of yes. for the rest of his life. Now, against one of the all-time kickboxing legends in MMA cage. So he's, look yep, absorbing damage and still coming in, still committed to his objectives here, and he gets him. Beautiful That's work. That's a big down. Very good work by Mertel to push him off and then get on the back of the head. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. but Rodriguez, Rodriguez is he's dogging him, he's grinding, yeah. he's staying stuck to him. Good for him, man. Watch this a rough few seconds here coming. Ooh. 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 And somehow Rodriguez Ooh. is still standing, especially after that finishing salvo of strikes yep. from Murphy Grunha. Rodriguez is the G. Like, that is a dude. That's off to him. That's, that's a oh, dude. Yes. Hell yeah. yeah. He's also not being like a boxing bag, you know? He's trying to get in yeah. there. He's trying to go for yeah. single legs, double legs, yeah. throw some punches, some sneaky elbows. He's trying to get that win. Yeah. Even yeah. though the percentage of him getting it is low, He's still... That's because yeah. of the skill of Myrtle, yeah. but he is trying, man. Yeah, he sure is. But there's always a chance. That's why we love oh, the yes. sport, right? Then oh, yes. No matter oh, how oh, down oh, and out oh. you can be, there is always that one strike, that one movement, that one yeah. beautiful yeah. bit of serendipity that he can bring Watch it back. Watch this elbow. Big. Oh. Oh. And then he goes with the movement after and chucks mm. off and then ends up on top. Yeah, he gets He's to show fish. some skill as well, yes, you know, for the crowd. The crowd comes to watch it, comes to watch him, yeah. you know? And then he gets to show some ground game, some, yes. some defense. Everything. Yeah. And this is only happening because of the man standing across from him being courageous and tough enough to step up and give him the chance to perform and us the chance to see it. And for viewers who may have just joined us, Rodriguez is coming in on a two hour notice. If that. He's coming in on it during the show he took the fight, hmm. which is just incredible. Phenomenal heart, and to make it into the third, of, uh, third round against a. A monster, yeah. a predator yeah. like grown yeah, heart. A genius, is. really. Like, this is a genius of martial artistry. You know, moving into a, a much more wide open, free fighting there with the kick in the left hand. Nice sequence. Yeah, you know? the left hand that followed up is beautiful. Super Dutch style kickboxing, but works. Ooh, digs it in on that right side of the ribs. Yeah. The sound of that reverberated through the arena if you didn't get it at home. It reverberated mm. through the organs of, of Rodriguez, <laughs> too. Yeah, it'll still be shaking after that one. Uh, they, uh, they, uh, my friend uh, Joe Lozon likes to say that a body shot is like a poison arrow. Mm. Yes, the arrow hurts, mm. but it is the poison that kills you. Yep. And it's the same thing. It, it hurts and you shut down. Yeah, not, you see, his yep. hands are low right yep. now, right after that shot. Yeah. It's yeah. a great uh, metaphor. So the only thing Rodriguez should think of right now is shooting for those legs yep. and getting a good position. And he will, but he's got to throw a few punches to uh -huh. get the hands up, and yep. he knows that. Ah, that counter hook is yeah. marvelous. And you can see how exhausted he is, his uh, yeah. movement, the way his arms keep dropping. He is running on fumes here a bit. Yeah, Martel might start hitting the body now. I'd like to see a little like, bit oh. more output, but yeah, he's just yeah. piecing him down, man. That's yeah. the experience. Three minutes a long time to yeah. be sitting in here with Martel now really Ooh. fully in flow. Yeah. yeah. Exactly Beautiful spot. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Drive the hip down now, elbow to the side of the head. Referee Target. just warned him there. Yeah, you got to target the ear or slightly behind the ear, the temple. You can't target too far back there. The back, what we call the back of the head in MMA is actually not the full back of the head. There are areas of the back you can legally target, but yeah. you still. I think Myrtle's haircut 
precisely shows where you can hit. Yes. Can. <laughs> yes, exactly true. <laughs> that little area around the shaved edges of Myrtle's haircut, you can hit there. <laughs> yes. But anywhere near the spine is a no no. No. Oh, is his head? Yeah, Myrtle so, choke. so there's like a him? Monson choke here. Jeff Monson. Uh, gets credit. It's existed before him, but he's done so many of them. You go palm to palm here, and you use your rib cage to turn the face. Mm. So Myrtle's going to look to use his rib cage to turn the face up, and then inflate his own lungs like an airbag, and it slowly constricts here. So they call it a north-south choke. Yes. Jeff, again, a lot of people will call it the Monson choke because Jeff got so many of them, especially in in Russia and Asia. He's still there. Yeah, he's in Myrtle there, but oh, he's turning into him, and that's what you've got to do. But see Myrtle adjusting with his rib cage again. You, if, yeah, you know, he stands up smart. Now pass and pass. Yeah, he's going for the finish, man. He doesn't want to win on points. No, he would have loved the submission, I think. But yeah, he would have been yeah, shots, yeah, elbows yeah. coming in. Yeah. Now he's he's gonna unleash unleash the predator. Oh, Come on, that's what we want to see. That was a rough moment there. If he'd have landed that one. Mm. Rodrigo still trying to ankle pick, <laughs> but he's still he's still in this fight. A minute yeah. and a half Amazing. left. Amazing, amazing, good for him. Like to see a beautiful pass and punch. Yep. <laughs> so Mertel has one minute. Uh, Rodriguez has one minute to catch something, but more likely, Mertel has one minute to try to to put a bow on it. And we see Rodriguez here, probably just happy to make it out of the round. Unbelievable. That's a hard 15. He's done a hard 14 so far. Second point. I, oh, I, I assume he means Rodriguez is holding the gloves. Uh. Yeah. And if that's the case, it could be like 30-25 or something to score us, yeah. if this stays where it is. Oh, those are some brutal elbows coming down from yeah. Rodriguez then. They just need to be on ever so slight of an angle, and they are. Should watch out for oh, the elbows. yikes. Rodriguez holding on for dear life yeah. here. Trying to survive. <laughs> See, this is the killer. And wow. there it is. Trying to do as much damage as possible, even though he know he won yeah. the fight. Yeah. Big yeah. smile yeah. from performance. Almost from the opening bell, there was no doubt who was going to win the fight. Yeah. But yeah. I think yeah. few of us expected Rodriguez to go the full 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's, that was really unbelievable. So Mark just motioned to us that two points were deducted. I'm confident that that was to uh, to hear him. Uh, for, and I believe for holding the glove. And back of the head. Um, um, for, for knee to the head and touch yeah, and, yeah. and grabbing the glove. Head butt and, um, First one was a knee to the head. Yeah. And the second one was pulling into the glove, finger into the glove. Hey man, you gotta survive. Yeah, and that's a, that would be a knee to the head on the ground yes. as opposed to yeah. uh, on the air for anyone who uh, maybe just joining some MMA and don't, don't really understand no. the full rules. And you can hear Mark got so he, that now. Yeah, and if you hear Mark, he's saying he need you in the head from an illegal spot, but you were in the dominant position, so I took the point and you stayed in your uh -huh. spot. And that that is exactly that is exactly how it should be. And Mertel almost had the old Monson choke. And you could see, but again, that's, hear him tap and it's over. Right? Uh -huh. All you do uh -huh. is tap yes. and this fight is done. None of these punches, none of these elbows. He didn't do that. He no. wouldn't do that. Yes. And I, I will not forget this man, ever. No, no, two, there's two big hours respect notice. Because a lot of people could have said, yeah, 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 I'll tap because, you know, I'll feel it. And we can't refute it. But he just wants to keep on continue fighting. Well, first because the of all, chance is the always there. Make applause for these two fighters. Hiran Rodriguez, Myrtle Brunhardt. And the winner of this fight is a man in the red corner, Myrtle Brunhardt! Hiram, thank you for a great fight. Everyone, please put your hands together for Hiram. He took this fight against a legend on two hours notice. I will... 
nicely done, sir. Murta, incredibly tough guy, steps up on a couple hours' notice. What were you doing three hours ago? Three hours ago. Uh, no, three hours ago, I was in a, a chamber with only a bottle and a towel. I went in a chamber, and I would train in the chamber for an hour. When I came out, I was in a cage, different body, different physique. It's a hell of a chamber. I don't know how they call it. <laughs> well, man, you showed the full game, you know? Moving beautifully and touching him up, hurting him from the outside, dominant on top. This is what you wanted to do, to show us that you're a complete free-fighting mixed martial artist. Definitely, you know, I mean, uh, as everybody knows, my fight had canceled just uh, a couple hours ago, and this, this, uh, Courageous. Yeah, this athlete showed up, you know, showed everything he got, and I have to change everything, but I've been training off, you know, so, and this is the result of it, but I won. And a uh, big shout out to the man, but like I said, like so my shirt, everything's for a reason, and this is, you know, they didn't believe in us that I could make it this far, but you know who did? God did! Hmm. Oh yes, we Listen, do too, man. That really was, was beautiful to see, and it's incredibly courageous of him, and difficult for you as well. What do you have to say? All these people have their phones out, they were so thrilled to see you fight. What do you have to say to them? Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody who's coming out, you know, to see my fight. And, uh, yeah, keep your phone updated because you're going to see a lot of me in the future, and uh, I can't wait to get uh, back in the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the legend, Mertal the Predator, Groundhog. Thank you, sir. That is another win in the LFL, in LFL from...